back to Joe Brady here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about what I think is the best monitor for 2020. Either if it's for home office work or gaming. This will be the best monitor for the needs. So, it is called the BenQ GW2480. I've talked about this monitor on my channel a couple times and all over i think it is a perfect monitor for all of your needs it's going for 120 bucks on the bank website um i would use it for gaming if i got it um it's got an end-to-end -end frame 144 hertz it's got a durable stand it has a display port hdmi and vga it's got a stand with cable management in the back which i think is very nice and then you'll have your cables organized um so the things you can do with the hdmi is endless i i or hook it with my switch um just because you have that option for the dock as i was saying um but we're going to go into an in-depth all about this monitor. So, one is end-to-end -end frame. Two, it's got HDMI to VGA, well, HDMI, VGA, and a display port. So, your display port will kind of be your main power source. You plug that into the back, and then it runs through a brick and into a wall port. Um, and that's really how you'll power the monitor and when you power the monitor, you'll be able to plug in your switch or just be able to run Windows 10 as it does come with Windows 10. Now, this monitor is under the home and office leisure. Um, so, it's definitely not seen gaming, but still... It's an IPS panel. It's got um, a one millisecond response time, I'm pretty sure. So that is specs for gaming straight out. So definitely is for gaming. And yes, I did say it's an IPS panel. panel um, and it's got... Oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh yeah, it's got all you need. I'm pretty sure it has USB ports, too. Um, so, you'll be able to plug in all your peripherals. So, your mouse, your keyboard. If you have the Firefly from Razer, then that, too. Um, but, just overall, if you're just using it for home office, it'd be great. If you either run Windows 10 straight out of the box, and it'll be great... Because, obviously, Windows 10 provides us with a video editor built in. And I think it's really nice. It's a really good video editor. Um, so, that's why you want to have Windows 10 built in. And you don't want to have, like, Windows 7 or Windows 8, all that. You want to have Windows 10. Um, how do I know it runs Windows 10? Well, um, I did a lot of deep diving. Since I say deep diving, I've watched a lot of videos on this. And I seen it does come with Windows 10 straight out of the box, so Windows 10 had a lot of possibilities, and that's really really nice. Um, some quick tech specs about this monitor is the end-to-end -end frame. It doesn't even look like it has bezels, and the stand too is very very durable. I have talked about the. Acer SB222 once on this channel. Um, it's got this plastic stand and it can break really easily. So, you definitely want to have that durable stand if you're going to be having it for a very, very long time or if you're moving. Um, it's obviously very easy to take apart. Um, I'm pretty sure it gets clips on or something like that, screws on or something like that. Um, but it is also basic mount wall mountable, so you can mount it to a wall, or you 
or you can mount him with a death clamp. And then you'll have, um, instead of the stand, which you, it maybe you think is too not too strong, then you have that option to mount it to a wall. Um, so if you're doing a dual or, dual or a three monitor setup, then then we get these because they're really really cheap. They're about $120 a piece on BenQ's website. On Amazon, they used to be $120. Now they went up to $190 for some reason. Um, so, I'll leave a link to BenQ's website instead of on Amazon. Just so you have that cheaper option. Right now, it's out of stock. Just because of over quarantine, you have the home office and stuff. So... That's why it's out of stock, but maybe you'll be able to pick one up. Um, I, if I had the money, I would buy one of these. Um, I've talked about the Acer SB 220Q, as I've said before, and it's $90, I don't want to say $90, but $90. Um, and you got that very cheap stand, but still very nice. It's perfect for gaming. End to end frame, 22 inch, 75 hertz. So, if you definitely want 124 hertz, thank you, 75 hertz, much more budget friendly, Acer SB 220Q, and I'll leave that one also down in the link description. So, if you're having trouble, if you have money right now, looking for budget monitors and I would want you to check out this video and one more tip I'm going to give you guys is if you're having trouble picking between two monitors what I would do is and I round up the tech specs look at each of them compare them the one with the best tech specs I would go for um the one with the bad tech specs don't go for you want to go with the good tech specs um so I actually, it actually took me a long time to find these monitors. I did a lot of digging, um, and I found the GW2480 for 120 bucks. Great deal. The Acer SB220Q off of a video, um, that was 90 bucks, so I checked the link. It was 90 bucks, as they said. Um, now, the Acer SB220Q is very, very weird. It's not weird on the device, it's just weird on Amazon, because I check that device often to jot things down from it, and I always see it's discontinued, and then the next day, it's not discontinued. So, it's kind of like a repeated pattern, so, um, if you're looking to get this monitor, it's discontinued, don't be bummed, just look every day, and it'll probably come into stock um there's also patterns for the acer sv 220q um i know this was about to be the ben q but i guess i can just name this the two best monitors of 2020 it's okay but the ben q comes no not the ben q sorry the acer sv 220q comes in patterns so you can get it just single just the monitor or you could get it with the MK345 Logitech mouse and keyboard combo. The keyboard is membrane. The mouse, it's very, very old. It looks like some toy dummy shell, but it's not. It's not, I promise. But it's from 2014. It's 2020. So, if you already have a keyboard, then don't go with that option. And don't have don't don't go with that option if you don't have a keyboard and mouse, just because those keyboards are old, um, and they can have very bad response. Um, you also come with a three feet or six feet cable, which is an HDMI to HDMI cable, so you can get that in three feet or six feet. BenQ, however, does not have patterns, but you can pick between between sorry um like display sizes so 24 is all i know of i pretty sure it's in my last video top three monitors 
Um, I'm pretty sure I said it had a 27 inch. Um, I'm I wasn't wrong. I'm pretty sure you can pick a 27 IEPS panel. Um, but you definitely will have options. Um, so if you want a bigger monitor, the the price probably will increase if you pick a, a bigger one. But still, I mean, whatever fits you. Um, so yeah, that was just about the two best monitors. Ringing it up, I would recommend so strongly. I mean, so strongly to you guys, the Ben. Q GW2480. The Acer SB220 Q comes in second just because it's $90. It's end to end frame. It's good for gaming. But the stand in it that doesn't have a base of wall mount just feel like that's very like. I feel like I would want to have that option if the stand is not too durable. It is a very cheap plastic. Um, one more thing is, I wish it would run at 144 hertz. And it's 22 inch. 22 inch. Like, not even, like, the 22 inch are very common. Um, I would, I, I would get 24 inch. Um, 22 inches are not picked up by most gamers. Um, they usually like bigger screens, as I do. Um, and one more thing is, it does not have eye care. So, you can have eye strain, or like, itchy eyes. And I have glasses too. So that's why I would go with the BenQ. Um, so... Yeah, I'd strongly recommend the BenQ GW2480. Um, so I guess it's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed the this video. I know you, it's not very understandable. I just thought, like, oh, I want to record this. Um, but I hope you did understand this video. And this did help you out on picking what monitor you should buy. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Matthew Burrito out. Peace, my burritos. Bye.